the short answer to the question, Steve, is that I believe we have, but we're not there yet. And let me explain what I mean. I think in many respects, Omicron, with its extraordinary, uh, uh, unprecedented degree of efficiency of transmissibility, will ultimately find just about everybody, <laughs> those who have been vaccinated and vaccinated and boosted, would get exposed. Some, maybe a lot of them, will get infected, but will very likely, with some exceptions, do reasonably well in the sense of not having hospitalization and death. Unfortunately, those who are still unvaccinated are going to get the brunt of the severe aspect of this. And al although it is less severe on a case-by-case -case basis, when you quantitatively have so many people who are infected, a fraction of them, even if it's a small fraction, are going to get seriously ill and are going to die. And that's the reason why it will challenge our health system. Having said that, as you probably remember, Steve, uh, on October, well, you wouldn't remember the date, but you remember because we stay in such close touch that on October the 13th, at a press conference at the White House, I showed a slide on one of my scientific briefs that showed the different phases. You go from pandemic to deceleration to control to elimination to eradication. And if you work your way up from the bottom up, there's no way we're going to eradicate this. We've only done it with one infection, and that's smallpox.